<laughs> You're welcome, Chip. You're welcome. Flanky! What's up, Flanky? Welcome back as a member. Oh! Yes! Today marks a very, very special day. Not because of the deer that we got, but because of the number that it is. This was not only our 75th great one overall, but it was our 35th whitetail great one. The majority of my great ones are indeed whitetail. And you would think with such massive numbers of great ones over the last four years that we would have every single rack, but we still don't. We still need the typical rack. It still eludes us, which means we still have to go for it. But this beautiful buck right here was a very good little prize along the way on the journey to the typical rack, great one whitetail buck. Couple of bucks there. A one. Beautiful. We love, we love missing our shots, man. Woo! He's a thicky. We love our thicky males. Pause. Uh, probably not Colton. I primarily just do grinding on single player. Do 65. He big. He big. That's a big male right there. We're getting a lot of good basket racks, man. Small feller there. I'm going to try something. I'm going to leave every one that pops up in the main zones for a couple of runs and just see what happens, man. Let's just see what happens. One of these days we'll probably do it again, but I'm in no rush. I want to make sure it's the right time. And I want to make sure it's designs that are actually good that people can be proud of uh, owning. Right now, I'm just happy with making content for you guys. What's up, Chip? I saw you doing moderator things, and I was like, oh, Chip's here. But I didn't want to say anything in case you didn't want people to know you were here. Uh, yes, I am using the 300 AR. Thank you, Call the Wild fan. I appreciate that. Uh, you're welcome, Chip. You're welcome. Flanky! What's up, Flanky? Welcome back as a member. Oh! Yes! Let's go! It's another big wreck, but let's go! Let's go! Oh my gosh, I've never had a great one show up in this zone. And he's next to a three. Let's freaking go, guys. Oh my gosh, another big rack. This is like my 15 millionth big rack, but it's a great one, so who cares? It's a freaking great one. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Oh my gosh, that's the last thing I expected right now. Whew. Oh my gosh, you did pick the right time to show up, Chip. We got a great one. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Jeez, man. <laughs> 1,294 kills to get our great one. Wow. You love to see it. He's next to a three as well. Guys, what do we shoot him with? What do we shoot this great one with? What should we shoot it with? Just the 30 Should we use the 303 since that's what we were using in today's video and it's what we've been using for the last couple days on the grind? Like should we go with the 303? I haven't shot a great one with the 303 in over a year. So I would not be opposed to that. I do see a lot of people saying 303. Yeah, I like that idea. 303 iron sights. That does sound like a fun way to do it. Iron sights 303. Let's go. Okay, we're hidden. This is perfect. We're hidden right here. We are fully hidden by this tree. Oh my gosh, look at him. What a beaut. What a beauty. You'll love to see those 10 fabled's popping up. Yeah, this looks like a 630. I'm going to say 635. I'm going to say 635. That's what it looks like is the 635. So that's about... Ah, oh, we can just use the binox. The binox, the binox. 33. 0 to 75. 
Got him. Great one down, everybody. Great one down. What's he gonna score, though? What's he gonna score? 631. Okay, he's a little lower scoring. That's good. That's awesome. Because I don't have a 631 for the big rack. I have a bunch of 635s. And then I think I have a 629 or a 628 or something like that. 631. That's cool. That's a little lower scoring than average. I'm happy with that. You love to see it. Feels good to have another great one on the ground, guys. It feels good. Another great one, Buck. He's beautiful, too. He's absolutely beautiful. So the question that I have for you guys now is, what's next? What are we going to hunt next on the channel as we wait for some news on the next reserve or the next DLC in general? Do we continue hunting Whitetail or do we go to something else like the Black Bear, the Red Deer, maybe some Mule Deer? Maybe we could go back to Fallow Deer, maybe some Moose? Let me know what you guys want to see in videos and also what you guys would like to see in live streams. As I know there is quite a few people that may only watch the live streams or may only watch the videos and then quite a few of you that watch both. That's why I'm going to separate this into two different polls and I'm going to link them down in the comments section as well as the description. So if you're watching this video right now and you want a say in what we do on the live streams in the future and also what we do on the videos in, in the future, be sure to vote on those polls. I am very interested in what you guys are going to say. Because a lot of you seem to have been really, really into the whitetail grind recently. But I want to know if there's something else you guys would like to see as well. Or if we should just continue the whitetail grind and keep going for that typical rack. Like I talked about in one of the previous videos here on the channel. With us having to wait a full year or possibly even more, maybe a little bit less. Just to get a brand new map in Call of the Wild. It has really switched things up for us. We've gone a very long time without a new map to play on. And so it's kind of made me lose interest in a lot of stuff aside from great one grinding. I really need a new map to rejuvenate my joy for hunting for a million different other species. Please let us get some news on a new map soon. We desperately need it. You know, I just thought of a fantastic idea. Considering I've got the majority of the Great One Fallow Deer that I wanted, I've got a lot of the combos that I was after, aside from maybe a couple of them, and the fact that you guys haven't really been too interested in Fallow Deer recently, how about we take down all the tents and stands for the Fallow Grind, and we set them up for Red Deer? I don't know why I just suddenly have the urge to do a Tiaboroa Red Deer Grind and see if we can get it to the cracked state that it was in back during our first ever herd management grind because our first ever herd management grind was with Red Deer and we got it to a pretty wild state where we got a diamond every 10 kills. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment down below letting me know that you made it this far in the video by saying something like made it or something along the lines of that. To let me know you made it this far in the video. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as well as leaving a like. It's a massive help to the channel. And especially during these times where there's just not a lot of interest in the Hunter Call of the Wild content. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace, peace.